So when is it okay to be offended? I'm in a quandary and so I'm reaching out for some opinions on what it might mean. It's no big deal really. I work in various client buildings, sometimes in the public sector, and in one of the locations, a secondary school, I came across this poster on the wall. The words read, Women in computing. The future is too important to be left to men. I looked at it and I went on my way, but it stayed in my mind as these things do. This poster is aimed at children in the school, specifically girls aged 11 to 18. The wording is selected, I imagine, to appeal to those girls. Someone somewhere calculates that belittling men in order to be positive about women is something girls respond to. I won't go into the significance of this as regards female nature, but there it is. I substituted in some other groups in place of men. First I substituted in women to see how that read. Then I thought, well, the teaching profession is mostly composed of women. There's a severe lack of male teachers, particularly in primary schools, and it's also accepted that educational standards have fallen over time. How about a poster to attract boys to the teaching profession, which read that the future of teaching is too important to be left to women? Would that be acceptable? Would boys even respond to wording like that? I think not. When we celebrate men, it doesn't occur to us to take a dig at women. In fact, we don't ever celebrate the achievements of men, only the achievements in the jobs they do. It's rare to acknowledge sex at all when speaking of men's achievements, which is wrong, but that's for another discussion. Then I thought, how would I reword the poster? I'd write simply, the future needs women, or women are essential to the future. I found I could come up with quite a few similar statements that were completely positive about women without being negative about men. It was an easy exercise. So why did I have to look at a poster attempting to belittle men? Why should boys in the school have to look at it? The bottom line is that I thought the poster was unacceptable and I decided to do something about it. Now normally I strictly avoid any overlap of men's movement work and my professional work. In this case however I decided to make a complaint. In summary the man I report to in the school agreed with me that it was sexist. I offered to deal with it directly with the relevant people in the department responsible for putting it up and he was fine with that. So I did so, and it was immediately taken down as I stood there. I thanked the woman who removed it, and that was the end of it. The whole thing took ten minutes, if that. But not really, because now I'm in this quandary. I don't like a world where someone gets offended by something, complains, and then it's taken down. That's a slippery slope, because where does it stop? And who decides where the line is? I didn't like the poster or the fact that it would be seen and read by boys as well as girls, helping to sow one of the many seeds of misandry in education. Words like this create misplaced competition between boys and girls, enabling girls to feel superior with no foundation whatsoever, and casting boys negatively without justification. I want to improve the environment for boys, which is already so hostile, and it was them more than myself I was thinking of when complaining about the poster. But so what if I was offended, not only for myself but for others? Is it right that I should complain and that it should come down? What do I do next? Do I start burning books I take offence to because of its misandric content? When is it wrong to take down a poster, and when is it right? Is it ever right? And what do I want to achieve? After all, this poster is mild compared to others out there. Would it be better to just put a poster right beside it, with a similar message aimed at belittling women? But such a poster doesn't exist, of course, so what should I do? Is it better to only play the long game, and aim to prevent companies from producing that kind of drivel in the first place? How many years might that take? Or is it best to tackle it at the sharp end and complain? At this moment, I simply don't know if it was the best course to claim offence, using the politically correct language which I knew would get some attention in a school environment. And what if my complaint fell on deaf ears? Should I have looked to take it down myself? I remember women complaining about hurricanes being named after only women, and they exerted pressure to get that changed. It seems women understand the power of negative association and negative language. They thought it was worth complaining about. So complaining like this goes against the grain for me, but at the same time, it's made an actual difference. It has made waves in the school, and I don't expect anything similar to go up in future. And I'm sure that when the gossip does the rounds, other departments will look at their own posters with fresh eyes. There's bound to be other examples around the school. Now men normally don't do this. I normally don't do this. They say nothing and tolerate things like this, and both they and the boys would have to look at such drivel indefinitely. Was the undoubtedly positive impact worth joining the I'm offended, you must censor it brigade? In all honesty, I didn't expect agreement about the complaint anyway. I thought it would be the beginning of a drawn out argument. So I was surprised about the ready agreement of the client and the quick response to fix it. But it still doesn't sit too well with me right now. And I'm interested in other opinions on this sort of activism. 
minor as it is. Cheers.